Creta Shaw syndrome is also known as chromosome 5p deletion syndrome, 5p minus syndrome, and cat cry syndrome. It's a group of symptoms resulting from a missing piece of chromosome number 5. Most cases are believed to occur during the development of the egg or sperm. In the United States, about 50 to 60 infants per year are born with 5p minus syndrome. The most common characteristic of Creta Shaw syndrome is the high pitched, shrill cry that is present during the first few weeks of life. This cry diminishes as the child gets older. Other signs could be an inguinal hernia, diastasis recti, which is the separation of the muscles of the belly area, low muscle tone, epicanthal folds, problem with folding of the outer ears. Genetic tests can also show a missing portion of chromosome 5, and a skull x-ray can reveal problems with the shape of the base of the skull. Some physical characteristics of Cree du Shaw are downward slanting eyes, low set or abnormally shaped ears, partial webbing or fusing of fingers or toes, a single line in the palm of hand, skin tags just in front of your ear, microcephaly, which is small head size for age, micronathia, which is small jaw size for age, and wide set eyes. Nearly all children diagnosed with Cree du Shaw have low muscle tone when they are young. Other characteristics may include feeding difficulties, delays in walking, hyperactivity, scoliosis, and significant retardation. Language delays are most common with individuals with Cree du Shaw. They have difficulty with language in general. Some will be able to use short sentences, but others will use a few basic words, gestures, or sign language to communicate. People with Cree du Shaw can understand much more than they are able to communicate. Most people born with Cree du Shaw will exhibit some level of psychomotor and intellectual disability. Some children may demonstrate hyperactivity or self-abusive behaviors. While they are typically born hypotonic, they tend to become hypertonic as they get older. There is no cure or standard treatment for Cree du Shaw syndrome. Treatments are based on individual symptoms. However, early intervention is important for children with Cree du Shaw to reach their highest potential. Some services that might be beneficial to these children includes physical therapy, speech therapy, remedial or special education services, and other medical, social, and vocational services. The survival of children born with Cree du Shaw is generally good. Most syndrome-related deaths occur in the first year of life. Several children have lived to be over 50 years of age. One study has shown that children who live in a supportive family environment and who receive early intervention services may achieve the abilities of a normal 5- to 6-year-old. That same study found that half the children over 10 that received special schooling and lived in a supportive family environment were able to communicate adequately. The 5P- Society is a parent support group founded in 1986 by families, four families who have a child with Cree du Shaw or 5P- syndrome. The group provides information about the syndrome to families and also provides the opportunity to meet and share common experiences. The 5P- Society also offers support services to put you in touch with other families living in your area. They produce a newsletter and also have a reference library with information, articles, and services related to 5P- syndrome. An annual national meeting is held every August to bring families and practitioners together for information, support, and advocacy. They support research for those researching deletion syndromes. The Grandparents Angel Fund is a support group for grandparents of children with Cree du Shaw. Thank you.